Hello everybody, I'm Jeannie. Welcome back to Magenta Tarot Messages. We're going to be doing a general reading for the Virgos. Just doing a nighttime reading, see where the moon leads us, you know. Um, yeah, I already shuffled the cards. I already meditated on the energy. You already know what it is. So let's just see what comes out for the Virgos, alright? Let's see, let's see, let's see what comes out for my Virgo bees. <laughs> Okay, we got six of earth, gifts, money, time, or effort, new career, opportunity, receiving a loan, payoff, debts. Okay, I'm getting the energy that spirit is going to be blessing you. This is the time, um, some harvest time for you. Harvest time from the universe that is, ooh, with the ace of air. A brilliant new idea, inspiration, giving truth to a situation, to challenging the beginnings here. Okay, Virgo, I'm feeling like spirit's going to be blessing you in the in the um, aspects of your inspirations here, in the aspects of the new ideas that you are gaining in this moment to lead you towards. Let's see, I'm guessing success, right? Virgos, spirit, what can we tell our Virgos here with the Ace of Fire? Wow okay two aces off the back here spirit is really blessing you with um brilliant new ideas they're also blessing you with more new opportunities career advancements here um i'm really feeling like this is definitely a harvest time for the virgos here a harvest time for the virgos what more can we tell them please we got the queen of air and the page of air Okay, Virgo. And then the four of air at the bottom. Okay. So, I feel like, Virgo, this is symbolizing with the queen of air and the page of air here. I feel like this is the energy that spirit wants you to be in when these blessings come your way. Okay, with this, with the, um new inspiration with the new opportunities coming your way spirit wants you to stay independent and really rely on the experience you've gained in coming thus far and be realistic in your goals and stay objective in your decision making here because there is going to be some type of challenging information coming in with page of air some type of information information could be around delays okay um or it could be a truth bomb here um We'll see. Can you clarify the Queen of Air and the Page of Air here for Virgos? We got the Two of Earth and Justice here. Okay, Virgos, I'm getting that Spirit's asking you to make, yeah, you're going to have to make objective decisions here. Um, with challenging challenging info coming in towards you so there might be an influx of um, there might be an influx of buyers there might be an influx of sales there might be an influx of subscribers there may be an influx of you feel me i'm getting um an influx in your career in such a way that you are going to need to make a plan objectively think here um balance the energies because there's going to be a lot going on but i feel like with the justice here i feel the spirit is asking you to make just decisions okay there there could be a lot of abundance coming in for you and with that you might have to cut off people you might have to make decisions that might benefit you or might benefit other Take it as it resonates here. There's something here around making just decisions or I feel like <laughs> this is your justice in some way. Let's clarify. Can we get the two of earth and the justice card? <clears throat> the king of water. Yeah. The king of water. Hmm. Okay. This, uh... <laughs> This um this king of water can be symbolizing once you find your balance in making these logical decisions, once you find your balance in um huh, in being stable with your money here, I feel like it would be justice. Spirit's asking you to be just and be this humanitarian energy that the king of waters 
embodies you feel me the king of water is a is a humanitarian this is the type of person who donates this is the type of person who um gives back to their community here and i feel like spirit is telling you that once you get to a point where you are balanced that is going to be justice for you or just for you to um also give to charity here and i feel like that give and take here with the six of earth is really symbolizing the more you give the more you get it's that reciprocal energy, that in and out energy and yin and yang, dark and light that keeps duality going here. That keeps um, your abundance and flow here, right? Okay, when can we tell Virgo about when this is going to be coming in for them? When can Virgo start expecting this to come in for them? Okay. We got the six of waters, the ten of earth, the three of waters, oh goodness, and renewal. Okay, so Virgos, I feel like this is coming in for you. Okay, three, three, six, ten, three, six, ten. That could be three to six months, three to six months, ten months, three, six, ten weeks here. Okay, but there's some type of renewal coming for you. Um, with this memories for the childhood and the ten of earth, I'm really getting that symbolizing children here, a family knife, some type of family situation like this will help you bring happy new memories to your family of financial stability um and be able to have a happy beautiful setting if you can see this card there's a glare but they're all in this beautiful meadow just wasting time you feel me i feel like um this will bring in security for your family where you'll have time to just look at your children shine right make happy memories with them and then with this three of waters here this is really symbolizing celebration a wedding graduation birth announcement i'm getting just celebrating this um this abundance coming in for you this these gifts from the universe coming in for you okay this is gonna be re a renewal uh, a whole new energy towards your life virgo and i hope it comes into you and meets you beautifully right okay let's pull some glow bay i always love my glow bay what can we tell virgo about the six of earth ace of air ace of fire okay what can we tell virgo about this renewal this justice here what can we tell virgo about Renewal, justice, celebration, six of water, ten of earth, happy, financially secure, family life here. What can we tell Virgo? <laughs> incoming message, okay? So I feel like this is incoming. This is the universe telling you that this this is incoming for you. What can we tell Virgo about this? Oh, goodness. New start hopped out on the queen of air here. Really symbolizing giving a divorcee a new start here is what I got from that situation. A single mother for the new start. Single father with a new start. Take the energy how it rolls. But she's independent, okay? Uh, yeah, I see a new start here. Spirit is telling you that it's incoming new start here. What is this incoming new start here? reconciliation reunion came out we do have the six of water here six of cups can often talk about some type of reconciliation and so does the three of wands so there could be a new start in reconciling something it could just be reconciling a happy family you feel me it could be reconciling with your peace of mind you feel me so when there's reconciliation that doesn't always have to mean that you are going to be reconciling with someone okay and then we got hubby wife right next to it, y'all. I tried it. Um, but Virgos, there may be an incoming message for a new start with reconciling with somebody who wants to have a long-term relationship with or somebody you've gotten out of relation long-term relationship with. Yeah, here we go. Parent, child, what did I tell you about that? 
Okay, but here we go. We got forgive perspective, walk away. Like I said, this is definitely some type of higher commitment that you have walked away from, child, or something that you imagine being a higher commitment that you have to walk away from. I have a feeling that this person um, violated the divine union in some way, okay? They betrayed you in some way. And even though that there was divine union, happiness, uh, love here, and maybe even children, you have to walk away from this but i feel like um this is really symbolizing that this person wants to change your perspective on this violation reconcile with you in some way and bring in happiness love and success because they love you and they see you as the divine union or baby mama but remember um always people when people come back into your life if this person is coming back into your life once all this abundance is taking off for you look secure the bag at the bottom 888 if this person is coming in once all of your abundance comes in for you it's like i don't know here let's get one for that let's get one for that what is this divine union for virgo what is this divine union for Virgo? Taurus, uh, okay. Uh, a Taurus that's mentally self sabotages here, stuck in some type of mental prison. Energy vampire. Mm. And we got Scorpio. Um, let's pull some love oracles. What is this? Um, oh my goodness. That's a lot, y'all. Let go of control issues flipped over, so I'll take that. What can we tell Virgo about this divine union? What can we tell Virgo about this divine union? Then we have wedding. This situation involves a marriage. What can we tell Virgo about this divine union? We've got passion and engagement, y'all. Oh my goodness. Somebody might want to come in and engage... Um, Mm, mm, mm. somebody might want to come in and have a proposal here i was getting this energy today i was tapping into this okay somebody sees you uh doing good feeling good letting go of control issues right you separated you're independent from this energy you're coming in having all of this tech all of this new this new renewal this these celebrations you're having all of this abundance and then you get an incoming call from a divine union here somebody who believes in their divine union somebody who loves you very much with the hubby life card they definitely want to have a long-term relationship with you and set it over and over again hubby wife wedding engagement passion okay But what should Virgo do about this situation? Okay, because I'm going to give you some advice. <laughs> I'm going to give you some advice. What should Virgo do about this divine union that comes in in the middle of their abundance? Self-indulge. Focus on yourself. Self-worth. Time to heal. Shadow work. Self-appreciation. Virgos, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying, okay, about the Queen of Wands here and the Page of Air right next to it. It's almost like standing on your belief, standing on your intelligence, and what you have learned, what um, you have gained here, and really indulging in yourself, giving to yourself, because you on your own independent is bringing in all of this abundance, Okay, so challenging information may come in like some person thinking that they are divine union, but all, all they are is an energy vampire who wants to marry you now that they see you bossing up is the type of things that come towards a boss, a type of things that come towards somebody who's vibrationally high, is, um, lower by energies trying you. Okay, I feel like, again, this is symbolizing here is symbolizing making balanced decisions with the king of water making balanced decisions with the king of water the king of water is in control of his feelings okay he um has good intuition he he's very he's very smart okay he's compassionate and respected but he's very smart okay he just doesn't let anybody emotionally manipulate him like some person coming in talking about a divine union talking about if you will you marry me 
okay right in the middle of your abundance right in the middle of you um self-indulging taking care of your, yourself and doing it successfully at that okay virgo that's what i got here for you i feel like you are going to be on your on your boss bitch shit okay and then somebody's gonna come in and try you and i feel like spirit's telling you to focus on yourself because if you do, those are the type of things that they want to give you blessings for, right? Ashe. I love this energy here for the Virgos. If you resonate with anything here, please give me a like, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel to see what's coming up next for the Virgos. And you know, thank you for watching. Oh, wait. Shout out. Shout out to everybody subscribing to my sh channel. Shout out to everybody um, donating to my channel. Shout out to everybody sending me emails, getting these readings. All right. Shout out to everybody that made this 1,000 subscribers happen. I haven't hit 1,000 subscribers yet, but we, we seconds away from it. And I want to tell you I have gratitude for everybody that um, allowed this to happen. I, I hope this continues. I love the energy and, you know y'all are amazing 